So guys, it's Charles here with Rocky Punch Army to do a review of the Transformers collectible figurines and 3D puzzle piece collector cards. From the thrilling 30 2014 Transformers line of figures. This isn't actually a Hasbro release. It looks like people are really taking advantage of those licenses available uh, to create different types of things, as you've seen from different manufacturers. This uh, looks like it's made by Goldie, and it looks like they have a bunch of stuff ready to go. I did manage to see some of the uh, movie figures. I wasn't too interested in them, but the uh, G1 figures definitely caught my eye, and that is why I have them here for you guys to check out. I initially found the single packs, and I was going to buy uh, Optimus Prime, Megatron, I believe it was, uh, actually probably just those two, but anyway, they were like six bucks each, and the pack here is around, I don't know, 17 bucks, so it was, a, it was probably more cost effective to buy the whole pack than individually. Um, so I went ahead and did that. I'm kind of glad because I get the whole G1 set here. And actually, there's more. You'll see here there's Rodimus, uh, Grimlock, Ultra Magnus, Soundwave, Bumblebee. So that'll be the next set that I get. Uh, they also have animated, or not animated, um, prime figures and movie figures, which, again, not too keen on getting those, but um, definitely digging these. So I'm going to go ahead and open this so we can check out each figure individually. I'm actually interested to check out these collector cards it comes with because if you look at the back here, if you put them together they do form the um, Optimus Prime and uh, Megatron G1 artwork here with the uh, 84 behind it. I don't know if I have to buy all the movie figures to get that done, but um, I guess we'll find out in this review. But Let's see, let's check this out first. Uh, collectibles, figurine checklist. You got the checklist here. Once we get them open, uh, let's take a look at the checklist. So you can actually check them off as you collect them, which I, I think is pretty cool. Uh, this was always fun as a kid to have the, one of these little things that you check off. Um, so very nice inclusion there. And then the spec sheets, which are the cards here. Now the one thing that surprised me, and let you look at these for a second more, Right, they're actually printed very nice, very, very nicely printed. Uh, you can just take a look at the gloss on that. It's like a nice matte finish, but very, very excellent feel. But that's not all, guys. If we flip it around, not only do we get the, um, what do you call it, the pieces to form, at least Optimus Prime here, we also see that it's like the 3D kind, the holographic kind. Really, really cool. I was expecting these to just be cheap cardboard and actually get a little bit more. Um, so apparently this does not form all of Optimus Prime, of course, and this one's completely just red, but uh, you know, this is their way of getting you to buy more, which should be no problem, as these things are pretty cool so far, but we've yet to check them out really close. Because uh, to me, these look more like those kind of toys you get in the candy machines for 75 cents or 50 cents. Uh, all they are are PVC. Just PVC with paint. Uh, so they shouldn't be expensive, but of course, the licensed thing. So they're going to cost a little bit more. Bring all these guys out, and you'll notice there's little Thrilling 30 logo underneath. That's actually a little collectible stand, also. Pop out Soundwave. I'm glad they did Soundwave. Really cool. And then pop out their stands. All right, and all the stands are the same. They don't, they're not labeled uh, with anybody. But there's a, there's one actually that's gray, which is weird. The, the rest are black. Don't know the reason for that one. But um, let's see. All right. So the first one we're going to check out is Optimus Prime. I'm going to put a macro lens on here so you can check out the details up close. All right. It's not the prettiest thing up close, but right. So here's Optimus Prime up close, guys. It's actually not too bad up close. Um, they still look good. I think the paint apps for something this small are actually rather nice. It's just I had to look through a couple of sets to find ones that weren't completely messed up. Sometimes there's some molding weirdness going on. There'll be like lines from I guess the liquid going through the molds, uh, the liquid plastic. But overall, not too bad. The the paints used like the silver have a nice chromish look. Um, so it's a little bit better than just having them silver, a little bit more metallic than uh, a regular silver, which is more evident on Megatron, all right, which is the one we're going to check out next. Just let you guys look at this for a second more. All right, so that's Optimus Prime. All right, guys, so here's Megatron. He's got that pissed off look with his fist up in the air, like, I'm going to get you, Optimus, 
or whatever. Can't do his voice very well, but you get the idea. Again, this one's uh, painted with that silver that the Optimus had on the chrome bits. Uh, doesn't pick up that great on camera, but it is a nice silver. And a nice De Decepticon logo tampoed right on there. You got the red elbows, which is really cool. You'll see the way the stand is on the bottom. And each stand actually has the uh, faction logo right there on the bottom. Although I don't know what that numbering is there. They all have the same number. But uh, yeah, so not too bad. The the paint apps on this are also great. You'll see the eyes are done very nicely. And that's one thing you got to really, don't just grab it all the, off the shelf. You got to check these out because some of them have really bad paint apps and uh, little weird molding things like that line there. But this one's not too bad. Some of them are really bad. These really do look like they came out of a candy machine. So uh, we're going to move on to the next one. Let's see who we want next. We'll get a uh, ratchet here. All right, so here's ratchet. One thing I did notice, the stands aren't um, universal. Some of them have the pegs a little further than the others. Uh, so I guess this one belongs to uh, Ratchet here. It's the gray one. It's the only gray one of the set. And this is probably my least favorite. Not really digging it. I mean, I, I, I like the characters, but not too big on much of their toys. Unless they're really well done. And this is, is just, I don't know, it's a little plain to me. But uh, for you Ratchet fans, here you go. Uh, got the little cross there. Nice Autobot faction logo there. Got the red underwear. So, not too bad, but uh, probably my least favorite of the set. So the next one we're going to do is Starscream. Alright, so here's Starscream. I was just mentioning uh, to check the packs for non-defective paint ones. And they just went to town on my Starscream. You'll see, I'm just noticing now that I got it uh, magnified on camera, but you'll see there's blue spots, like right on his back. Like, how, how does that even happen, you know? And... You'll also notice on the top of his head here where I'm pointing, you'll see that there, which is uh, hideous. It's right on the top of his head. I don't know. I think uh, as long as they're executed fine, I guess they're pretty cool to add to the collection. Um, but yeah, look at those paint apps. Not too bad overall. I do love the silver and the Tampo Decepticon logos on the back. Last but not least is Soundwave. All right, so here is Soundwave. All right, there's something about his head that's kind of weird to me. Can't really pinpoint it. I don't know if it's the angle of the outer horns. I think they're supposed to be angled in. But it's it's still obviously sound wave. There's a chest, although there's no Decepticon faction logo there. But I do like the red striping on the forearms with the silver forearms. And the little buttons right on his crotch for the tape mode. And he's got red eyes. Alright, so that's sound wave. Uh, back is pretty plain. There's nothing going on in the back there. And yeah, that's Soundwave, guys. All right, guys. So here's the whole gang. Overall, I'm I'm glad I got it. Uh, there's no way I was gonna let little G1 figures uh, not be part of my collection. So I'm a sucker for these things, even though they're not articulated. Uh, they actually could almost serve as game pieces for something. I really thought that's what it was at first, and I really am digging the cards that they come with with the holograms. Uh, I don't know how you would display that after you finish putting them. I guess you could frame them or whatever if you want. But um, still a pretty cool little thing. I think a bit overpriced. I mean, we're used to paying a, a lot for certain things. But uh, really, these are just little pieces of PVC. Uh, I think 8 bucks should have been the max. But uh, again, it's a licensed figure made by a non-Hasbro company. So, uh, yeah. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Until next time, bye-bye.